this is my new M5 CS. It's a 2022 car and it's been bought by us from somebody very special. You're gonna have to wait around to find out who. So we're going to be doing a performance and practicality test with this car. Oh, and we're also going to be taking the car to the track. Let's see ya. So you wanna stick around for that. But the practicality test is really gonna be fitting all of Luke's many hair products and other beauty cosmetics that he carries around with him in the back. Looks pretty spacious to me. We're going to go do a 0 to 60 test to just see how powerful this launch is. You want to put it into M mode, so it turns it into sport. You want the gear changes as quick as possible. And then on the setup, you want sport plus, sport plus for your engine and chassis, and then sport for steering. You want to hold down your traction, to turn it fully off. <laughs> so it's fully off, and then it should unlock your four wheel drive sport mode. And then all you need to do is knock it into manual mode when, when you want to. And if you want to see us do more 0 to 60 tests and launches, be sure to subscribe. Right, go for Let's it. Let's do it. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> 60. <gasps> 3.4 seconds, but it's that a little bit wet. That is oh. fast, isn't it? Yeah, that is fast. We may do another 0 to 60 just to see if we can beat this time on the way back. I can imagine it's going to be equally as fast when we've got the lads and the luggage in the car, so we'll mm. have to see how it compares. This is replacing my GR Yaris, which is sad, but you know, it had to go. Why did I get rid of my Yaris? Well, to me, GI Yaris deserves to be driven. It's a hell of a car. It's a daily car and a rally car. You can have immense fun with this. And the reality is, as soon as I got this, I wasn't going to be driving the Yaris anymore. This does everything that the Yaris does faster, bigger, better. It fits my kids. It's super fast. We even nicknamed it the Uber Yaris. This car comes equipped with a big 4.4 litre V8 engine and people nickname it a bit of a supercar killer. So if you like to see this go up against some of the supercars in the collection, then stick around for future videos because we're hoping to get some drag races done and some track tests as well. We picked this up through collecting cars for a very reasonable price of just over £110,000. I say reasonable because these things retail at over £160,000 and on the second hand market, they're going for a very similar price. So done pretty well here I think. So the first knock to 60 was uh, 3.4 seconds I think. And, uh, it's good, maybe we can do better. Yeah, I know we can do better, but I'm just looking at the roads and it looks a little bit damp, so. A bit greasy, so, so we'll do we'll our see. best. Yeah. Let's try it. You ready? Ready. <laughs> oh. And now we are. Three, two, one, go. 60. Oh, 2.9. <laughs> I know this is very unscientific of us. You might say amateur. Yeah, amateur. We've just got a little phone on there and our eyes, but yeah. the launch is absolutely wild. Mm. We'll, we'll definitely, definitely at some point have to do all of the cars and see a comparison between them all. Yeah, definitely. Because I think that would be mental to see what is the most aggressive, mm. especially from you, because the, <laughs> this, this launch this is, is savage. So yeah. yeah, savage car. And as I was saying, it was a little bit damp as well, and we still managed to... 2.9, not bad at all. So now we've fully finished the uh, performance test and a little bit of a practical test. And uh, the only thing next to do is to go pick up the lads. So we're gonna go head over to pick Scott and then Rich up and uh, see what they bring along for the journey and see what their reaction is to the Nocta 60 test in this car because I'm still pulling the skin back forward on my face because that is brutal. So we're picking Scott up and uh, we'll see if he's got his pizza because that seems to be the only thing that he brings on these trips. Hello. Nice bag, nice bag that Scott. Lovely, isn't it? <laughs> so we're on the way for Rich, can you see him yet? Should be around here. Where is it? Well, there, is. Where? there he is. Oh, yeah. Where's all your stuff? What stuff? Why, is that why, why have you got your passport? You, you never know, do you? Oh, we've got your little present as well, by the way, Rich. All right. It's got a little, nice, nice little t-shirt for you. <laughs> oh, once, yeah. you. Once you've eaten it, you just cut the ends off. Oh, that's brilliant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. thanks. Yeah. Brilliant. <laughs> Bargain. Nice. Now that we've got all the lads in the car and we've got all the luggage in the back, we're going to do a 0 to 60 comparison to see what it's like with everybody and luggage in compared to what it was like with me and Tom in. It's like very like informal, not to 60, just on the phone. Super technical. Well, you know, I like, we had, like to be professionals here. <laughs> yeah. Of course, there's going to be somebody there. <laughs> right. Salutes, silly buckle. So, we've tried a not to 60 multiple times, but there's always somebody behind us, which is fine again. Uh, <laughs> we're going to get dizzy around this roundabout, aren't we? I feel sick. Yeah, go. <laughs> Five seconds. I think it was quicker than that as well because there was probably a break. A bit of, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There was like a, a couple of milliseconds where I didn't 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out in time, yeah. I've been 3.9 seconds. What is it like in the back? Like, yeah. Is yeah. it, yeah? These bucket seats, but they're, uh, they're quite surprisingly comfortable. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we, say, we, we, we probably could well, I prefer it in the back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's nice. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Especially with Richie. Yeah. <laughs> We made it to Donington, and upon arrival, it was absolutely chucking it down. As you can see, that didn't dampen spirits between us, and we were still hoping to get out on the track. So we just got to Donington, we brought up the M5C, yeah. did the road test, but we're going to see how this performs on track a little bit later, so yeah, I'm looking forward to see how it performs. We all got our race gear on, warmed the cars up, ready to go out on track. This is a very, very, <laughs> very rushed lap, isn't it, Rich? It's a very, very, very wet lap. And he said we don't have 10 minutes left. No, here's the organiser. Outside. But we nearly got out, Rich. Early. But then we were faced with a big problem. The red lights had come on, ending the session. You can wait for both the sides of cars are in, just cars in. Hold on there a second. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. But after a little bit of, and pretty much pleading with the marshals, we managed to convince them to let us go out for one lap. Okay, let's go. Right, we're off. Full speed, all tight. Not. <laughs> <laughs> not, yeah, not. I wanted to see how this compared to the M5 competition, but obviously we can't do a full comparison and you, here. And you haven't driven that on Donington in the wet. <laughs> oh my god. That is, uh, that's impressive, that. Got more grip than you think, hasn't it? Yeah. Just. <laughs> yeah, don't worry, Rich. Go on, Luke. Get past him. I'll flash him to indicate. <laughs> yeah, yeah, get out <laughs> Like, see ya! <laughs> <laughs> so, it's quite slippy down here. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, we, we, <laughs> we witnessed that in the, uh, the no. 2 RS a little bit before. Yeah. Right, you can give it some now. You kind of got you're just looking for like the wet and the dry, sorry. <laughs> yeah, there we go. What do you think, Richie? Yeah, it was all right. Yeah, that was good. okay. <laughs> <laughs> and we've done, technically, we have done a track test in a way. <laughs> Just typical of the lovely English weather. Yes, you that can. We, uh, that Tom and I love so much. <laughs> I don't think I've heard you complain once about this weather. Uh, we've had fun. That was good though. At least we managed to get out. Well, thanks for that, Rich. Not too bad, was it? No. Well, I said stick around to find out who owned this car prior to me. And here's the answer. It was Chris Harris. And he is uh, particularly a legend to me because he's one of the guys that really got me into cars as a young adult, watching him on, on YouTube, on Evo, Chris Harris on cars, and then of course more recently Top Gear and collecting cars. So thank you Chris for selling us this one as well, he's done a gold signature here. Shouldn't have sold it, part two. Part one of course was the M2 CS that we bought. The question that everybody wants to hear, does the M5 CS live up to the competition spot name? After having time with it on track, although it wasn't a proper track session, I felt fairly confident in that car to get me around and I can't imagine what it's going to be like in the dry. I think it's a hell of a car. I have been endlessly impressed by this thing. Mm, in yeah. winter conditions, fall conditions, damp conditions, any time of the year, I would pick this over any other car in the collection. Mm. You don't want to get these things covered in no. crap. BMW, it's a special BMW of course, but you, do, yeah. you don't mind using it so much. It's all wheel drive, it's comfortable. Despite the bucket seats. Um, <laughs> they are fairly comfortable though. They the are. And they're buckets. heated, the front ones at least. Oh yeah, yeah. So yeah, I'm, I'm super impressed with it. I, I think th there isn't another car that, that I have or can think of that even I don't have mm. that would compete with this as a super fast daily. And I really do mean super fast because I think it yeah. keeps with or beats a lot of supercars. <laughs> I feel like it flies under the radar a little bit as well mm -hmm. because it's one of these kind of, if you know, you know, because to anybody else, it may just look like a normal five series, mm -hmm. but as soon as you put your foot down, that is off. And we've had experience of that on the road. When we were driving in the M2 CS, when we first picked this car up, we got to the national speed limit. Tom put his foot down and don't get me wrong, the M2 is a fast car, mm -hmm. but this with the all wheel drive, it just went. And I, I think as like dailies go, and like a track car, like this is essentially, the CS is, is track, it's essentially made for track and I find that like, you've got the best of both worlds, but yeah, annoyingly, like we were saying before, we didn't get to do the track tests that we were hoping to do, but that just leaves it open again for, uh, for more opportunities. There's always next time, and yeah. this car is an oxymoron, because mm. it's a two ton, five <laughs> door family car, but it's the best oxymoron I've ever, ever had the pleasure of driving. So if you did like this video and you do want to see more with this car and again, other cars in the collection, then be sure to subscribe. And if so, we'll see you in the next video.
that sound. 